Good morning, everybody. Belinda here. Welcome back. Um, I'm going to be doing a little flipping paint today. I'm going to go ahead and cover my canvas with purple. And I'll see you in a bit. So all my colors are two parts paint. <laughs> Here we go again. One part paint to two parts of float roll. And um, I have added some water for consistency. So you don't want it too thin or too thick. And I have yellow, white, Dioxidine purple and um, I have metallic ruby red which I don't understand why they call it ruby red because it's actually more like a um, copper tone I don't want to add too much copper because um, it's not really going to show up on the Um, on the purple too much I'm hoping it will show up a bit more on the, the yellow, really. Alright, let's do it. Now guys, if you're going to try this, I would suggest you first, you hold on to your canvas. You know, you can always touch up the signs after. Because in my experience, the whole canvas disappears. <laughs> okay. Um, something very interesting going on here already so I think what I must do is probably just flip it that way <coughs> so I don't have any silicone in my paints and in actual fact this um, yellow and purple react to each other like that and make the cells so I might just um, actually let me just tilt this first I see quite a few interesting things going on here.
I've got to decide what is it that I'm going to keep because I see three things here and all three are pretty interesting so I think what I'm going to do is I just want to break this up a little bit here just make that a little bit more interesting really looking pretty nice just the way it is <laughs> okay guys so this is obviously a very quick one I'm going to give this a torch and I'll bring you in for a close up. <laughs> I decided not to do that. We'll use that. seen something else that I'd like to do here. So it's just adding some detail. Okay, it's um, looking interesting, I must say.
so I'm also trying to just break up some of this yellow there seems to be a lot of it Just give it some interesting detail here and there. looking good guys I think that this one might be one of my other than the very first one I did um, it might just be one of my favorite Yes, that's definitely way, way more interesting. balance it out on this side right <coughs> and I think we will call this one done. It's very awesome. I am absolutely loving this. It looks like a big walrus. And that looks like a um big fish <laughs> there's some um, angry looking fish I'm not too sure what they're called but um, it could also be like one of those angel fish and then over here um, could be like an eel and over there it looks like a big bird of some sort Maybe it's a dinosaur bird. And then just adding in the details um, here and there, you know, just to, to lift it and make it look a little bit more interesting. I really love this one. I think it's just so beautiful. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day and um, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.